Hey everybody. Well, I was just down here cutting out of my uh, cutting the beans out of my greenhouse and kind of getting that corner ready. I'm gonna have a little different plan there for next year. And uh, of course, <laughs> over to my left, I hear drip, drip, drip. Yeah, my NFT overflowing again. So it's time the tomatoes. I I thought maybe somehow I could just squeak them through to the last ripen. Not happening. Uh, I got a lot of really really nice tomatoes <laughs> up there. <laughs> that are green and they're ice cold touching them. So I'm just taking them out. And really, I can't put another drop of water through that darn system. So uh, I'm gonna cut those out and I, I uh, thought I'd just run up and get the camera and, and let, you, let you see that happening because I got a feeling these roots are gonna be just, just crazy. I mean, yeah, for sure. I, 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 know they're, <laughs> I know they're gonna be. So anyway, I thought I'd show you that today. And, uh, and when we get that done, I'm gonna walk just down the road here with you and show you the salmon uh, coming up the creek. Uh, they're chum salmon, now, uh, often coho. Well, we get all kinds coming through these creeks, but right now it's the chum salmon running. And uh, they're all spawning, so I thought I'd just take you down there real quickly, because I know a lot of you guys down there in the, in the States and you know all over the world, I guess, really. Um, you guys don't get to see that all the time, so I, I thought you'd really, really like that. It's something that's pretty common here in BC for us, but I thought you guys would like that. Anyway, I'll get this camera set up on there and we'll, we'll, cut, <laughs> we'll cut these tomatoes out, hopefully. <laughs> all right, let's check it out. Okay, guys, well, you know you've seen these before all summer long. <laughs> I pretty well show them to you every week. I, <laughs> I know, I'm really happy about it. So uh, I'm still happy about it. I still think this was an awesome success, but now it's time. I, I gotta get rid of them. So they did really, really, you know, I, I complained about the tomatoes in the NFT system and everything and, and uh, yeah, really it's not the thing to do, but I, I, I've gotta say, I, I really got some amazing success off these guys. Uh, the tomatoes were fabulous, but like I say, they can only go so long. That's it, done on the tube. So they're gonna be going in the Dutch buckets uh, like these ones over here next year. But anyway, so I thought I would uh, yank this guy out of there and uh, and see how easy it goes. <laughs> Cut! <laughs> Well, I need a knife. <laughs> that, man, that's in there. I can't believe it. Well, it's starting to rain now too, guys. Well, okay, I'm gonna go get a knife. Okay, guys, I'm back with my knife. <laughs> and uh, you can probably hear that rain coming down now. Well, I figured what I'd do, well, I'd hope to do, is get in here and <laughs> slice the bottom portion off. Holy smoke. <clears throat> Without cutting my arm off. And then maybe I can reach in here. Oh. Well, <laughs> that's the lower half of the roots. Whew. All right, let's see if we can get her out now. All good, she'll come, I think. Oh, crying out loud. I'm tearing down the house here. Guys, I'm not kidding you a lick. <laughs> this guy's in there. Let me just, wow. <laughs> That's heavy, guys. 
let those tomatoes hang there. So guys, this is what's happening in your NFT system when you try to do tomatoes. <laughs> uh, the cucumbers were just as crazy. The peppers, eh, actually not too doggone bad. Um, I'm, I could have probably got away with doing those, but uh, here you go. This is, this is a root structure. I mean, really quite beautiful actually. So, that's one out. I've got to try for these other guys now. I, man, I don't know. <laughs> I hope this one's a lot easier. In fact, this time I think I'll just cut the cut the plant off. I'm gonna have to put my work in on this. <laughs> Jeez. Okay guys, I'm down to the last two in the back and I thought I'd just give you a quick shot of uh, what I'm dealing with in here. You can see inside the tube, there's just not much tube left in there. And uh, these guys are just having a field day. I mean, these were, were some very, very, very healthy roots. Um, yeah, so you can see why my dilemma. Anyway, I thought I'd give you a quick shot of that and uh, when I get the last one out there, I'll show them all to you on the floor and, uh, and you can see what's left of the tomato plants and the roots. Uh, then we'll go on up the road there and we'll take a look at those salmon. All right, guys, well, I got those out. <laughs> I'm not kidding you, that last one, phew, it was crazy. I was about to get out a chisel. But anyway, there's all, these are the roots. I put a, a, a big lighter up there to, to give you kind of a size comparison, but I mean, these, <laughs> these were some serious roots, guys. I mean, uh, and, and just some beautiful, beautiful plants. Uh, here's some of the green tomatoes left on them. Uh, I'm gonna have to get to go on over there to uh, I'm Still Working's channel and uh, see if she's got any good canning stuff on that. And uh, I've seen old Larry Hall. He had a mighty good recipe too. So I'll be, <laughs> I'll be checking that out. Uh, here's the vines. They're, uh, they were pretty doggone stout. Pretty stout. You can see that powdery mildew really how it really cracked me. But uh, anyway, okay guys. That's, uh, that's the roots right there. Well, okay guys, that's the big, uh, <laughs> the big tomato tear down in the root adventure. Uh, yeah, Larry, you got me thinking about it the other night when I was, <laughs> I was watching yours. Holy smokes, brother. Yeah, NFTs and tomatoes, that's my vote, guys. I mean, I got great results, but ah, Dutch buckets, that's the way to go. Okay, it's raining like, <laughs> it's raining like crazy now. Of course, after I promise you, I'm gonna show you the salmon, it starts to rain like crazy. Anyway, we're going down to the creek, and I'll show you those salmon, guys. <laughs> All right. Okay, guys, I promised you the salmon, so we're down here. It's, it's kind of raining, so I got a plastic bag over the camera. I don't know if it's, I can kind of see up there. It looks okay. Anyway, I wanted to show you these salmon. It's really, really quite a sight. Uh, you, you might even be able to see there's a couple of guys right in there behind me. Uh, there they are. So anyway, let me, uh, let me get this camera off this tripod and uh, show you these. This is really beautiful. Nature's awesome. Okay, guys, there we go. I'm, trying to keep this camera dry but uh, these uh, these salmon right here that you're seeing these are called chum salmon and uh, actually a lot of people don't like them I kind of find them one of, <laughs> one of my favorite eating salmon but uh, doggone I was wish it wasn't raining so hard anyway let me get in here uh, let me get in here maybe I can get you guys a better a better view of stuff what's going on here yeah there's some nice ones <laughs> well see they're spawning there they're building their nest right there and uh, you know they, they they just hollow out these little areas and uh, whoop, there he goes they seem to be like in this big pool over here uh, Yeah, I kind of got a lot of reflection in there for you now, but see these guys there? 
They're coming up the stream, doing their thing. That old boy over there, he's just trying like crazy. Yeah. They, they kind of just get petered out, and then they'll just kind of lay here, just like this for a bit. You know, he'll just lay there and he'll rest. As soon as he feels like it, bam, he just takes off like a giant bullet. They make a huge splash and they, they get going. Now these things are normally very, very beautiful fish, but right now they're just, I mean, guys, they're just beat to blue blazes. But uh, yeah, Let's see if I can get up here closer. There's some, sorry guys, you're probably dizzy as all get out right now. But uh, yeah, they're, they're just, you know, they, I'm, they're like three feet from me, something like that. Uh, <laughs> I'll see if I can't get the camera way up close. I got it on a tripod, so maybe I can. I just don't know how much water this thing's going to take. Whoop. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, they're just getting there after today. There's a nice guy right here. Oh. <laughs> All right. Let's see? There we go, guys. They're just, uh, they kind of fan their tails and they knock all the, the sand out and they make these little nestlings and then they, uh, then they do their, their business and uh, there we go. Look at that. It's just beautiful, eh? <laughs> anyway, guys, I'm getting wet out here. So uh, <laughs> I'm going to say that's it on the salmon for the second. And I'll uh, give you one more quick down here. I just right down the stream there. They're all they're all coming up. So guys, that's the BC salmon. Holy smokes, that's a close up. We better <laughs> That's the BC salmon, guys. These are chum salmon. Every year back here we get all kinds. We get Chinooks, cohos, the whole nine yards. Anyway, so that's the look at the salmon. And uh <laughs> yeah, she's getting good and soggy out here now. <laughs> Well, everybody, we're back in the greenhouse, and I got to tell you, in, in good time, too, because it's starting to really come down now. Uh, it was just starting back there at the creek with the fish, but <clears throat> she's coming down really good now. So, and I got an, hey, another good thing. I got a really cool surprise. I got home from filming the fish. Box in the mail. <laughs> so, just a while back, I was at Media Maker 2000's channel, and uh, he's liking to give little things away and all, and so uh, I entered that contest there, and I won. <laughs> yeah, so, bang, the dancing flower, and she's dancing already right out of the box, <laughs> So anyway there, guys, that's very cool. So Media Maker 2000, uh, you guys should check him out. He's, I think he's giving away some AirPods right now too. You can go in and get your, uh, get your entry in there. He's a man of his word. There's my dancing flower from Media Maker 2000. And she's dancing. A rainy day. Bang. <laughs> it just keeps getting better. <laughs> anyway. Dale, thank you very much. That's awesome. Uh, I just got it today. It's actually <laughs> pretty cool. So anyway, guys, I just wanted to um, run the tomato roots thing by you. Uh, <laughs> pretty amazing. Uh, it's funny, Larry just had a video on the other day and he was, he was showing his roots and man, they were looking pretty massive. And I just come out to check this morning and it had overflowed again and that was the last time. So anyway, uh, yeah. Again, my vote on NFT tomatoes, Dutch buckets, go with the Dutch buckets. Uh, anyway, um, so I got a lot, of, a, lot of green pepper, uh, a lot of green tomatoes there too. So uh, I'm gonna go, uh, go and see what the heck uh, we got on the internet for, uh, for turning them into something really, really nice. I think I'll go uh, check out I'm Still Working. Uh, Bobby did a video the other day about her and, and her doings. Man, I tell you, I checked out her, her, her channel, also subscribed to it. She is one busy gal, very sweet lady, 
and now she knows her stuff. Anyway, guys, I'm going to sit out there, out here, finish the rest of this amazing beer. This was a really good batch, guys. I don't know. It was just very tasty. Uh, I'm going to sit out here and listen to the rain and uh, get the rest of this mess cleaned up. Boy, this floor is. <laughs> okay, guys, until next time, above all things, be good to each other. Be good to each other. We'll see you all later. Uvidíme se později. Buďte na sebe hodný.